Okay, welcome to Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition, the first game. Yeah. Okay, it might be a little... Go to season game. Team control first. Okay. Now normally I'm gonna have this set up before. So we're going to skip through the Arizona-LA game, we're going to skip through the Atlanta-Detroit game, and then we'll jump into the Cleveland-Cincinnati game. Wait a minute. Okay, so you've got an auto-skip, week one. Okay, so it skips Arizona one. Atlanta got beat by Detroit. Then we go on to the next game. Both these teams are going to be computer controlled. Cool, we got rain. Graphics of the grass are definitely a huge improvement from the previous season. Jerseys, but then it shows the Bengals name on top and bottom. Blue, forty-three. Blue, forty-three. I guess we won't know until whoever's got the ball scores a touchdown. So Bengals are the home team. The home team usually always wears colored jerseys. Touchdown. Oh, we got to see some of the rain. Okay, so the Bengals are the home team. Or are the team in black. See, you think they'd have the Bengals name on top and the Browns name on the bottom? I'm pretty sure that's the way it is in the other games.
really don't care much for the music in this game. Probably because I'm not used. Probably because I'm not used to it though. Tensor Blue, 43, team. Blue, 43. talk when all of a sudden I sit there and throw noises and sound right in the middle of my conversations and my sentences. change sides in this game, which they didn't do in the last game. Wow, 
I wonder why they put a P above their head. Why don't they just put an arrow? I could talk a little bit. Yeah, see, you can't even see the rain. I think that's probably one of the reasons why I created Technic Football 3 Final Edition. Because I think there were probably quite a few problems I've seen in this game after releasing it. was the Jacksonville Jaguars and Carolina Panthers. They added those to the next game. I wonder what snow looks like in this game. I don't remember if I picked snow or not. Finally get a touchdown. I don't see any rain right there. There's some rain. Throw to. I didn't see if any of the fans catch it. It might even make any sound when it kicks it. Yeah, anyways. Okay, there's the halftime stats, but anyway, I think I, I see a lot of problems in this game that it looks like they've corrected in Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, which it's probably a good explanation why I released this game in January of 95. 
I probably immediately went back and did Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, putting it together and all that, and released it in October, because one thing they did is they added two new teams, the Carolina Panthers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Another thing, in this game they got the Rams and Raiders in Los Angeles, whereas in the next game they got them Oakland Raiders and the St. Louis Rams. So they must have moved right around that time. Also, I noticed the sound effects, like kicking the ball. We just noticed it doesn't show up. They got music in this game. The next game, they don't have music playing while you're on the field. It's like they got, you can hear the crowd cheering and that. So it's, they started adding some more realism to the game. And also the rain, you cannot see the rain at all. It's supposed to be raining there and you can't, you can only see it when they show like the cutscenes. Players up close. When that, you can't see it, so. That's probably a pretty good reason why they released Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition shortly after this one released, but either way, this could still be a fun game, even though it's got a few flaws. The only problem I have right now isn't any game problems, but it's my video recording problems. My batteries only holds up to like an hour long, and these football games are like about probably 40 minutes long. So I'm only going to be able to record probably one game per day. Because it takes like four hours for my battery to recharge. Anyway, Cincinnati's up 10 to 7 over Cleveland. Cleveland's got 61 rushing yards compared to Cincinnati's 43. They're out passing them. 32-16. Total yards are beating Mag 3 to 59. You got six first down compared to the Bengals two and they're up second them three to two. Cincinnati's got two interceptions, but Cleveland forced two fumbles out of Cincinnati. So the Browns are actually outplaying the Bengals. The Bengals just got lucky right the last second and recovered that fumble. So Well actually it says Browns have two fumbles. Wasn't it the Browns that just fumbled the last one? I don't know, that might be another error in the game. Oh well, well here we go into the next half. be able to do two games because Ready. since it's Sunday I have time to do a game or like early in the morning charge the battery do another game I might even be able to do three games but now on my work work days during the week I only be able to do one game lot of updating on the rosters too in the next game because when we get to the Packers Blue, game, Blue, I'll show the roster and kind of compare it to the next Super Bowl 3 Final Edition's roster. I think there's only like two players on the entire team that are the Ready. same. Check. They're on both games on the same cut, roster. Cut.
kid's voice. actually take a look after this game. I'll be able to explain it in the next video. I'd rather have to do a preseason game with snow just to see what it looks like. Probably won't play the whole game though. came out, I started running that all the time on the NES, cut, 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 then Tecmo cut, Super Bowl cut. came out on the Super NES and I started running that all the time. This one, I think I might have actually owned the first one on the Super, Super Nintendo, which is the last season we seen in the game. I think I owned that, but I'm not positive. This one I didn't even know existed until recently. From the last year or so. Tekken Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, I've owned that game for like 20 years, and close to it. Okay, I guess Tekken Super Bowl 3 Final Edition was only out 18 years, so that's about how long I owned it. Same cartridge, I've like, broken many of them over the years. I probably owned at least it's say four or five. I had Tecmo Super Bowl three final edition. problems with recently is my Maniac Mansion game on the NES for some reason I can act with that work. I played it already, done the upload of it, no problems, but now it won't work in the Retron. I use my Retron 3 for my games, like right now that's what I'm using for this game, the Retron 3. But all I get is a scrambled picture. Now I can play it on my Retro Duo Portable. But the only problem is the only controller that plugs into that the Retro Duo Portable is a Super Nintendo controller. And the D-pad doesn't work. The Super Nintendo controller's D-pad doesn't work with that game for some reason. Really terrible. Cut, 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 cut. 
Cleveland for now playing the Bengals. All game, they're finally, finally starting to show on the scoreboard. It's like silence. Every time he goes for the extra point, it's just dead silent. Right there, you can hear a bunch of Thirty minutes. Okay, that was kind of cool. So I'm not used to the cutscenes in this game because I've only played it those two times. Not like they could really make much of a comeback anyway. Down by 11 with about two minutes left. get up to a certain percentage, like let's say 45% uploaded, and it'll freeze there. It'll stop uploading. So I have to, what I do is I click the X on the screen, bring up the new YouTube screen, upload, re-upload it again. The second time I try uploading again, it starts out where it left off, like 45% then it starts going. It's a problem I've been having recently. about time to get a new computer, although I just bought this one like five months ago. Get this game put out there because of the improve, improvement in the graphics. Bro, like, oh, we gotta put this out, it looks so good. Even though they knew they were gonna make uh, Tekken Super 3 Final Edition with uh, new teams and everything.
the same tune that we're going to hear in the next game at the end, but slightly different. So there's a final score, Cleveland beats Cincinnati 24-10. Yards, the yeah, yard went 221 to 80. First downs, Browns led 14 to 3. Sacks, Browns led 4 to 1. Interceptions, two on both sides. Cleveland has three fumbles, six man zero. I think Chris Ward, Cleveland fumbled at the end of the second quarter and the Bengals recovered it, but I don't know, I'll have to go back and look. Pittsburgh game. And Dallas wins 28 to 20. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the game. Next one we're going to see. Next video will be Houston at Indianapolis. Which I'll be doing tomorrow and hopefully I'll also have time to do Minnesota at Green Bay because I really want to get in there and start playing some of these games, so. Now, ignore what you see down on the bottoms. Week 2 down there. The only reason those white teams are highlighted is because I got them highlighted for week 1. But when we do week 2, then it'll all change down there. So. Hope you enjoyed the game. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow. The next video is using Indianapolis.